What's going on guys? In this super quick video, I want to take a look at Algorand as it's breaking $1.50 right now guys. Key area. I'm also going to take a look and do a recap on Ethereum Classic. If you haven't yet, go back, check out the live stream from last night. Super awesome live stream. Lots of good price action. Lots of great people in the chat. Definitely go check that live stream out, man. We covered ETH Classic throughout that live stream. But I'm going to be taking a look at that as well. If that sounds good and you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button on the way in. And let's just get ahead start on these charts. All right, so I got the Algorand hourly chart here pulled up. And you can see here we're breaking resistance, right? We're breaking resistance. We blasted through 150. We've now came up and um, went above $1.55 for Algorand, guys. All the way from down here near $1.25, okay? So <clears throat> that is a massive beautiful run up and that is exactly what we've been needing and what we've been waiting for i really honestly guys i was not going to be bullish on algorand unless we come up and break above these resistance levels near a dollar 50 and a dollar 55 and that is what we're trying to do now so i'm gonna throw it on the four hour chart here zooming out and you can see um why a dollar 50 and a dollar 55 has been a major area of support and resistance in the past back here um, huge area there of support and resistance. Um, also, previously back here in the price action, it was also a key area to pay attention to. So, now that we've um, broken this once again, this is a good sign. However, we still have obstacles to get through here for Algorand if we want to continue to the upside. So, I'm going to let you know what I think about that. So, first of all, what I'm going to like to do... Um, anytime the price action plays out a little more, you know, once the price action plays out a little more, what I'm going to do is go ahead and extend this line on out, get it to touch those wicks down there and line it back up. But this previous support could turn into resistance here in the future. That would be right there near a dollar 60 guys. Um, that would make sense to me. Dollar 60 is also, you can see back here where this wick, that wick right there. Uh, you can see where that wick came up and touched $1.60 perfectly and we got rejected. If I zoom in here on this action back here a little bit more near $1.60, you can see how well $1.60 played as resistance there. So that's an area to keep in mind, guys. Um, reason being for that is it's also its previous resistance in the price action. And it would also line us up here with this previous support line, that yellow line. That could turn resistance on us on our way back up, right? You can see that since we've dropped below it here, we have not came back up to retest it yet. So likely what we may do is come up and retest that line for uh, resistance there. But if we could get a break of that and get back up above this support level, this could be great. We could actually see Algorand really take off. So what I'm going to be paying attention to for next will be... Um, whether or not we are going to come up here to near a dollar sixty, possibly a dollar sixty-five, but in and around this area here, and test it for resistance. Right? You can see on the fifteen-minute chart here that we're getting a nice break above a dollar fifty-five. Nice, beautiful green candle here pushing on up dollar fifty-seven as we speak, guys. What I'm paying attention to is this dollar sixty to dollar sixty-five price area for resistance, guys. Algorand has been really taking it easy, so. Hopefully we've got enough momentum here through this break of $1.55 that this will not be a significant area of resistance, at least not significant enough to push us back down, right? So that is my area I'm paying attention to for resistance, guys. And then if we were to break above that, honestly, guys, if we were to break above our resistance there, um, that should, if we come up and break above $1.60, $1.65, guys, we should at least come up and retest our previous tops, right? But if we don't and we get rejected once again, um, we could fall back below $1.50, $1.55 once again. Um, and then we would have to struggle to get back up above $1.50, $1.55. But however, $1.55 in the past seemed to be a, a key area for a breakout. You can see that here in the price action, um, right after breaking $1.50, we shot up to $1.80, right? So that is a key area. So hopefully what I'm thinking is going to happen here, we're going to come up here, push up, test this line 
um, in this price area near $1.60, $1.65. We're going to push up and test it for resistance. And guys, if we get a break of that, we're absolutely going to come up and retest our tops near $1.80. So that's all I've really got for Algorand, guys. I'm going to go ahead and throw it on ETH Classic. So let's throw on the ETH Classic chart here and take a look at the price action that's played out since last night's live stream. Once again, guys, if you have not yet, go check out that live stream, man. It was an awesome, awesome live stream. So let's see what we've done here since the live stream, okay? All right, so looks like the technicals have played out decent here, guys. Decent. What did we do? We came up right there at the 0.618 FIB level from our retracement and caught some resistance there, guys. Uh, the 0.618 FIB level, technically, I, I could, could have moved this chart down a little bit. You can see how it's not actually lined up with this green wick right there. Um, but the 0.618 FIB level shows $127. We actually came up to $130 exactly, it looks like. And now we're catching a little bit of resistance here. But um, that is looking good, man. Um, you know, this is holding support down here, right? We're holding support. Previous support. We're getting a bounce. We're testing our resistance levels. Um, getting pushed down pretty hard there by that 0.618 FIB uh, level from our retracement. So... Uh, we'll have to see, but man, that's a nice, nice uh, wick down there on the hourly chart here. We're trying to get a push back up, so we'll see if she holds, because this candle's about to close in 50 seconds, guys. So um, basically, man, this analysis has played out perfectly. Um, from our retracement here, what we want to see happen for Ethereum Classic, if you guys really want this thing to continue to run, we're going to have to come up, and we're going to have to get up above... 140 and we're gonna have to retest 150 um, if we get a break of 150 I'd say we can come up anywhere near 185 to 180 to 185 okay um, those that's the area that I'd be paying attention to if we can get a break of our previous top and uh, get a break of about 140 about the 0.786 fib level if we can get a break of those I'd be paying attention to around 180 to 185 that would make sense here um, that would be the 1.618 FIB level from our retracement tool. So that would make sense in my opinion. Um, okay, so we have had this new hourly candle form, guys. We did actually get pushed back up high enough here to form the candle above the moving averages. It is trying to drop. But if it holds here above the moving averages, we could see it continue up and turn green. If it, if it drops below the moving average there, most likely you're going to come down and retest your other moving averages. So we're looking at around these areas. Um, I'm thinking around 110. If we, um, you know, if this resistance at 130 holds, I'm thinking around 110 bucks, guys, in the short term for a retrace for ETH Classic. 110 and then possibly a bounce there, right? That would make sense. Um, that would line us up here with this support. Um, you know, it's possible... If I just draw that in there, you can tell, like, look, we could come down, get a nice bounce, right? Come up, test 140, get a bounce. Possibly, possibly even fill this pattern out some, right? We could create, we could create a rising wedge pattern here, potentially. Um, we could even come up, you know, and get resistance here at the top of it and kind of just fill it out more and then have a break, right? That is also likely. That that typically happens. So what we're going to have to do is just wait and see how this plays out. Keep an eye on these FIB levels, man. Keep a lot, keep an eye on these price targets that I've been paying attention to for resistance. I did mention um, 130 in the live stream as resistance, to, as an area to pay attention to, guys. I did mention that in the live stream. So, Also, guys, join the free Discord, man. Link in the description, link in the chat. Make sure you guys join the Discord. Great community. Um, I believe we have over... 100 people in the discord now so it would be awesome to get all you guys to come over and join the free discord man um beautiful beautiful people love you guys so much it's all the time i got this morning keep an eye on the charts man but don't look too much don't stare too much don't drive yourself crazy get out there today it's a beautiful day out have a great day and i'll see you guys in my next update